next uh, again a, a component in this uh, uh, in this ITS is what we call as an efficient fun frontier. Okay, efficient frontier. Let's say uh, to simplify for the sake of uh, illustration, right? Efficient fun frontier. This concept is based on a Nobel Prize winning work by what we call as a Harry Markowitz. Um, he's a mathematician. And he actually uh, we won a Nobel Prize uh, many years ago uh, to solve the puzzle of how to achieve maximum return with the least amount of risk. I think this is what we are all, everyone is striving for, right? Maximum return yeah. for the least amount of risk. Yeah. So he he actually have uh, calculate a mathematically correct portfolio that were most effective in balancing the trade off between risk and reward. Or reward means return uh, of various asset class. Uh, he called this portfolio efficient and was able to plot them graphically to illustrate a range of possibility for each level of risk or expected reward. Now the graph below show the outcome of his work lah. Uh, okay, simplify. Okay, it shows the efficient frontier. Okay, let me explain a bit on this. An efficient frontier would fall on the line directly on the line of this graph meaning that you, if you see the blue dot the connecting lines of the blue dot that would be what we call as an efficient fun frontier so for example if you see let's say lah, huh, the the last the last dot over here right 25 percent they say that for a 25 percent level of risk you should expect about 11 percent or, or slightly more than probably 10.5 percent of return annually over a long period of time mm -hmm. over a long period of time so any if your portfolio so that is what we we, 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 we do for clients right so like i say before and after okay so if you can see these two triangle over here what when we first engage a client, we gather all his asset, all his investment, and he show us where he's invested in which fund, which uh, portfolio, what Malaysian equity. Okay, we don't say individual stock lah. We just say Malaysian equity lah, huh? because we are not dealing with individual funds or stock. We are talking about very high level asset allocation, whether it's Malaysia, Asia Pacific, uh, property, whether it's local or global. So in that sense, this when we gather all the data and we construct what we call as a weighted average return of his existing portfolio you can see there is this triangle over here the purple one and they say oh your portfolio will have something uh, around 10 let's say lah, for illustration sake about slightly more than 10 percent in terms of risk then your expected return will be about maybe about seven percent like that lah. and my website you'll find online financial seminars which is by call webinars I do it regularly and also a lot of uh, online investment and financial courses which is conducted solely online so I'll be waiting for you at my website at kclau.com I wish you have a great day hope to see you soon bye bye